What's up guys, it's Eric from Rare Candy and welcome back to part two, or box number two I should say, of our Sun and Moon Guardians Rising booster box case opening. So if you guys haven't seen part one, I'll be sure to put a link to that as well. We did a full speed, or yeah, I guess like a regular speed box opening for that. But since you guys have probably already seen that or have probably seen a ton of other uh, box openings, we're actually gonna do speed openings for parts two through six. Since, you know, let's be honest guys, uh, you could really care less about the Vanillites or Murkros that we're going to pull out of here. You want to see the Ultra Rares, you want to see the good stuff. I want to see the good stuff. I don't want to talk about no Murkros or, or uh, Vanillites or anything like that. So it's kind of a win-win, I think. So, yeah, let's just get uh, get right into it. So here, we're going to start with a uh, Hakoma O pack. And we'll give you guys a code first to start off the box. There you go. And if you guys actually uh, play the online game and you want some more free codes, follow us on Twitter and uh, Instagram at RareCandyTCG. We give out free codes every Friday. Okay. Choice Band and Gudra. Nice. So Choice Band's definitely the uh, the good pull there. <laughs> One of the best cards by far in this set. So if you can pull some more of those, I'll pull all the Gudras you want. Just keep giving me good cards. <laughs> So we have, ooh, Rayquaza and Oracorio. Rayquaza is another decent card. And we have Field Blower. So from what I've seen, um, I do believe it is six rares, or I'm sorry, six ultra rares per box uh, on average. So if we can at least meet that, uh, that will be pretty good with me, I think. Uh, however, if we want to get seven or eight I wouldn't say no that I've seen one guy who pulled nine and I think of oh, I'm sorry I almost did the card trick we ain't doing that in this video <laughs> oh Gatell and Mudsdale but I saw one guy um it might have been pokey soup I think it's the pokey tuber I forget but I saw one guy even pulled two secret rares in one box so definitely some weird pulls out there nice we have graveler and comfy and And as usual, you guys probably know what the big chase cards of the set are. Ooh, okay, hold on, hold up. This is actually a good pack right here. We got uh, Trubbish, Garb, and Psychic Energy, so very nice. One of the best cards in the set, I think. So, nice. I actually don't have many Garb Odors yet, so if we can keep pulling those, maybe some reverse ones, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be cool with that. And I actually was talking about in the, the first box opening, there's not that many playable hollows, but there's actually a good bit of regular rares that we can pull. So, and you know, a lot of sets, the regular rares are normally bad and you get, you know, multiple copies of each of them. But in this set, it's not really the case. So we have Waylord and Lunala. We got Trevenant, we got Garboder. And I think there's like, oh, there's a, uh, there's an Oracorio that's pretty decent too. That uh, is good against Night March and Vespaquin. So. There is some uh, good regulars we can get. Hakomo and Whiskash. Uh oh. I think we got something, guys. Let's see this. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh god this card is such trash oh man so anyone who knows me personally or maybe has even heard me talk about in our other videos i've always talked about like i i think this card is terrible i've just told people uh before i recorded these box openings i was like you know i don't care what i pull but i just want to pull the least amount of wishy-washies uh hakomos and maybe like metagross or maybe even bickable as possible but Wishy Washi and Hakoma O are definitely on the bottom of my list as far as stuff I'm gonna pull. But I do collect in addition to playing, so I will at least need one Wishy Washi for my collection. So hopefully this is the only one I ever pull. <laughs> so we're gonna sit him uh, back here alone all by himself because he's trash. <laughs> and he's also pretty to look at despite being bad. So we're gonna show him off a little bit. So 
So we got Pangora and Victory Bell. Pangora is a rare, so that's kind of cool. And uh, okay, cool. We actually got some decent trainers there too. I should actually be checking what I get in the trainers because there's actually a lot of really playable ones in this set. So definitely, I think uh, a misplay on my part not uh, checking out what we're getting. Okay, so we have Energy Lotto and Mimikyu. And we have a Mallow and Soda Loaded. Those are okay cards, so we'll take that, we'll take that. Uh oh, so we got Talonflame and <laughs> Turtinator. Okay, okay. This is uh, a pack I can get behind. So I actually don't own any Turtinators, but definitely I think one of the more playable GXs. You can put this in your Volcanian deck more than likely. So it definitely seems cool. All of its attacks seem pretty strong. Very, very pretty card, making up for that wishy-washy. And only thing I'm worried about is you only normally get like one or two full arts per box, so I'm really hoping that wishy-washy is not our only full art or like ultra rare or secret rare or anything like that. So we'll set Turtonero here by himself uh, away from this bad wishy-washy. So cool, we got Turtonero, definitely a good pull. Like I said, I don't have any of those yet, so I am totally fine with that. We have Multi-Switch and Oracorio. And we do get Aether Paradise Conservation Area. That's a pretty good trainer card to get. Could maybe play it with Tapu Koko, maybe? Seems, seems good at least. So we have Minior and Honchkrow, double rare. That's pretty good. I actually love this Honchkrow card, mainly for the art, but I think the attack on it, Raven's Call, is kind of decent as well. So we'll have to see what happens with that. Maybe we can do a video on that guy at some point. All right, so guys, we have I think three more packs left for this half of the box. And like I said, normally about six ultra rares per box. So maybe we'll hit one more. Why am I doing the card trick? I don't even want to do that. I want to see the cards. So we got a uh, Slowbro and Pangoro here. I just get distracted talking and you know, just have it always doing the card trick in videos. So two more packs in this half of the box. We'll, uh, We'll, we'll, we'll go with Hakoma O first. So we have a Gothita and Oracorio. Nothing too crazy. Uh, multi switch is okay, I suppose. Alright, guys, so one more pack for this half of the box. Please just don't be another wishy washy. That'd be great. Oh, we got one more thing. Okay. What is it? What is it? <laughs> oh, nice. So we got Tapu freaking Lele GX. So whenever you get one of these, it makes up for all the wishy-washies. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay. So definitely a killer way to close out this half of the box. We're definitely going to pull it, put a sleeve on our, uh, our boy Tapu Lele over here. Well, actually, is it a girl? Actually, I guess technically the legendaries are generous, but it looks more like a girl, I think. So, definitely an awesome pull. I, I'll take as many of these as this case wants to give uh, wants to give me. So definitely we're going to sit that guy over there by Turtonator. Keep him wishy-washy all by himself. Nice, so. Box is actually going pretty decent so far. Okay, so we have Barboach and Sharpedo. And uh, Sableye is kind of okay, so not a bad card to get, I guess. So we have Watchhog and Hollow Absol. Okay, so pretty card, if nothing else. And just a multi switch. That's what kind of what I mean, too. Like, there's a lot of hollows in the set that, yeah, they look kind of nice, but they aren't the greatest. I've heard some talk about like a Serena Absol deck. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but generally speaking, the hollows in this set are not the most playable, unfortunately. So here we have a Murkrow. And okay, cool, we have a Trevenant, which is definitely a very, very playable card, I think. Uh, so I'm quite content with that. And we have an E-Hammer, which is also pretty good. So Trevenant, yeah, definitely one of my favorite Pokemon from XY. And uh, like I said, pretty decent card. We did a uh, 
like a deck profile on that guy and like a battle video. So if you guys want to check it out, I might put a link to that for you to, to go watch too. So we have a Probo Pass and a Rare Rayquaza, another pretty playable regular rare, I think. Oh, nice. We have Aqua Patch and E Hammer. Yeah, it's actually our first Aqua Patch of the box so far. Energy Recycler and Vanillic. So nothing special there. Oh, we did have Aqua Patch, so that actually made that pack pretty decent. I know it's been receiving a lot of hype lately. Uh, Gumi and Hel Heliolisk, so nothing special. Yeah, kind of a dud pack, but it happens. Out of 36 packs, we're bound to get a couple that aren't that great. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is a great pack here. We have, uh, ooh, double rescue stretcher. That's actually pretty good. So reverse hall rescue stretcher, one of the best, I think, uh, item cards that came out in this set. And the very, very pretty Alolan Ninetales GX. So I started to see a little bit of blue when I was like going through the pack. I was like, if this is another wishy-washy, I swear to God, Pokemon, you're gonna get a letter from me or something. <laughs> but it's not, we got Ninetales, that is awesome. Uh, it, God, this card just looks so, Freaking cool. Like, I'm actually not, like, the biggest Ninetales fan in the world. I know it has a following. But, I mean, even despite that, I gotta give I gotta give Ninetales credit. It looks pretty sweet here. And definitely one of the better GXs that we got in the set. So, very, very nice. Definitely gets to share uh, this side of the box with Lele and Turtonator over there. So, okay. So, you know, even if we pull a couple... You know, cruddy GXs, I think this box is still looking to shape up pretty well. And we have Litwick. I have yet to actually pull a Chandelure from this set, and that's like one of my all-time favorite Pokemon from Black and White, so hopefully at some point in this box I can get one of those too. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, that's all I'm talking about. I think uh, Lord Helix is, he is hearing uh, <laughs> my prayers or something. So we have Chandelure. Not the best card in the world, but I love Chandelier. I think it's actually a cool Pokemon. I know it gets a lot of hate for being just, you know, a Chandelier Pokemon, but I like it. So we're gonna we're gonna keep Chandelier back here wishy washy. I think those are like on the same level as far as like decent pulls. <laughs> so very nice, very nice. Okay, happy to pull that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so we have Gotharita and Oracorio, which is actually the one I was mentioning can potentially be good against things like Night March and Vesper Clan. We'll have to see though. All right, Machop and Wailord, and another Rescue Stretcher. That's cool with me. So Heliolisk and Turtonator, double rares at the least. Um, not the best ones, but like I said, double rares. That's kind of cool. And to get a max potion, which is also a playable card too. So, okay. So we are getting a little bit low on packs, but maybe, like I said, there should be two more ultra rares on average floating around somewhere in this box. Uh, so just getting a little bit worried. Uh-oh. Okay. I don't know what it is, but anytime I start whining, the Poke Gods, they hear me, man. So I, you might hear a lot of whining for the rest of this box. <laughs> oh, nice. So we have a uh, Rainbow Rare Drampa GX. I have yet to pull, uh, I think, any of these Drampas. So definitely a super playable card. And this thing looks sweet. I love this. Uh, it's like kind of like a checkerboard pattern or something like in the background there. Nice, this is actually our first Rainbow Rare pull of the case opening so far. Spoiler alert in case you did not watch uh, part one, but very nice. Definitely a good one to get too. So This box is actually shaping up to be pretty good. Um, you know, four, you know, super playable GXs and one kind of dud. I can, uh, I can probably live with that. Sorry, just let me clean up some of this uh, bulk I have over here real quick. 
And okay, it's all about the fall over. Ugh. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, so we have Fletchinder and Gothitel. And nothing else in that one. Uh, ooh, double Beldum and a Probe Pass. <laughs> and a Max Potion. Alright, guys, four packs left. One more Ultra Rare. Please, please, just one more. Solgaleo and a Hollow Mudsdale. Oh, so we have Field Blower and Brooklet Hill as well. Definitely playable cards. Hammer Reverse and Oracoria, decent cards to get. And Field Blower, so. You know, nothing crazy as far as rarity, but definitely some playable cards. Two packs left, guys. I'm really worried that we are not going to get another Ultra Rare, but hopefully, hopefully one of these packs will come through. We have not pulled Tapu Koko yet, so I'm gonna save this guy for the end. Hopefully that'll bring, bring us some good luck here. Uh-oh. Oh, we have something. We have something. Hey, nice! We have Rev Vulpix and we have a Lycanroc GX. So, definitely a great GX pull and a Choice Pan in the same pack. That's pretty good. So, I'll let you guys take a look at Lycanroc real quick. Nice. So, I mean, ton of playable Ultra Rares in this box. The one wishy washy kind of got me a little paranoid at first, but I think we're going to be okay. So, let's get a sleeve on this guy and set him with the uh, rest of his crew over here. And so one pack left. Uh, now we've pulled six Ultra Rares. I am not very confident it's gonna be anything great, but that's not gonna stop us from trying. Hopefully we can at the least get a playable rare, maybe a Garboder or something like that. And you know what, let's do, uh, let's do the old card trick for the very last pack and see what we can make happen. So we got our boy Delibird, Wishy Washy, Jangmo O, Wimpod, Machop, uh, Metal Energy, Alone Graveler, Altar of the Sun, Altar of the Moon, Reverse Hollow Rockruff, which is a playable common or uncommon or whatever it is, and a rare Lilligant. So definitely not uh, <laughs> something we want to close the box out on, but we did get that uh, Lycan Rock right before that uh, this pack. So. Yeah, guys, I'm pretty actually excited about this box. Let me, um, I'm going to straighten up some of the stuff and we're going to do a quick recap, okay? All right, guys, so for our hollows, we got the awesome looking chandelure. Not sure how good this card is, but like I said, I love me some chandelure, so I'm cool with that. We got a Gudra, a Comfy, a Mimikyu, an Absol, and a Mudsdale. So we got six regular hollows, that sounds about right. And for our Ultra Rares, we got Lycanroc, Alolan Ninetales, Tapu Lele, awesome to pull, uh, Turtonator, the extremely underwhelming and uh, disappointing Full Art Wishy Washy GX, but it's okay because we also got the epic looking Rainbow Rare Drampa GX. So overall guys, I gotta say I'm really excited about this box. We only pulled one kind of like, like so-so GX. Everything else was super good. We got a Lele and that's like really like half of the battle. It's just pulling Lele out of the set. <laughs> So definitely a, a box I'm very excited about. And like I said, if you haven't seen part one, I'll be sure to put a link to that, but stay tuned. We have four more boxes to open and hopefully we can get ourselves some more good stuff. So definitely check those out. But as usual guys, feel free to like and subscribe and don't forget to check out our merchandise over at rarecandytcg.com. If you can pick up something that helps support the channel, it'd mean a lot to us. But with that, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you for uh, box three.